Good evening. Tonight we're going to start with Lesson 5 in Unit 3, Apply Place Value Strategies to Divide Thousands, Hundreds, Tens, and Ones. In this next problem, we have 7,242 divided by 3, and we're going to use an area model to divide. We first look at that 7,000. We need to ask ourselves, is there anything that 3 times what gives us 7,000? Nothing. So what could we change that thousand to that three can go into it evenly? Well, we could say 6,000 because three times 2,000 equals 6,000. So once we take 6,000 and we subtract it with that 7,000, we're left with 1,000 and we're gonna need to add it on with that the 200, which would give us 1,200. 3 times what would give us 12? Well, that's 4. And then we have two zeros for 400. Now we're left with 42. Now 3 times what gives us 42? Nothing. So 3 times what can get close to that 40? Well, that would be 30. 3 times 10 would give us 30. And then when we subtract 30 from 42, we would get left over with 12 ones. Three times what gives us 12? It would be four. So now what we have to do is we have to add up all these digits here, and we're going to get an answer of 2,414. In this next problem, 568 divided by 4, we're going to use the place value chart and the area model to find the quotient to this problem. All right, so now let's just split up 568. How many hundreds do we have? We've got five. One, two, three, four, five. How many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we have to take those and we have to divide it up equally amongst four. So let's make one, two, three, and that last row is four. So now we take those hundreds and we have to divide them equally amongst those four rows. Um, we're noticing that one of those is not going to fit. So let's go one, two, three, four. So we used up these four and now we have to give that 10 that extra one to that to the 10, so it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so now we have 16 tens, and that will work because 16 is divisible by 4, so let's split up 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And now we have 8 ones. So eight is divisible by four, so we can, because four times two is eight. So now let's split up the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many are in each row? Well, we have 100, we have four tens, and we have two ones. So the quotient is 142. But let's check it out with using the area model. So we notice that four can't go into five, which we demonstrated by giving that to the tens, that extra hundred to the tens. So now let's do, what can four go into? Well, it can go into 400. So let's put a 400 here. 400 divided by four is 100. Now take that 400, subtract it with uh, from 568, and you're left with 160 and then eight in the one. So four goes into 16, four times, bring up your zero. Four goes into eight, two times. So if we add these up, we get 142, just like we did with the place value chart. So the quotient to this problem is 142. Okay, our next one, 3,246 divided by two. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, I'm going to break those numbers up. And we're going to say there's 3,000, there are two hundreds, there are, whoops, 
there are four tens and there are six ones. All right, now we're going to break them up into two equal groups. It's one group, and there's your other group. They're not very nice looking columns, but you get the point. Now we need to take those, separate those thousands into two equal groups. We know that there's going to be one left over. So there's one, two, we used up these two. We need to give this to the hundreds now. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that will be 12. So we know that 12 is divisible by two. So let's spread up, split up the 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. We have four tens, so let's split those up, and that's divisible by two. One, two, three, four. <clears throat> and we have six ones, and that's divisible by two, so it's safe. One, two, three, four, five, six. So how much do we have in the thousands? We've got one thousand, and we've got one, two, three, four, five. We got five hundredths. We got two tens, and we've got three ones. So it's 1,523. But let's try it, check that out by using the area model. Two can't go into 3,000, but we know it can go into 2,000. And that would give us 1,000. All right. So now that we took away, we're going to take 3,000 minus 2,000. That would give us 1,000 left over. We know now in the hundreds we're going to have 1,200. And that's divisible by you can divide by six and six hundred. So six hundred times two is twelve hundred. How many do we have in the tens? We have forty, and that can multiply by twenty times two get us forty. And then we have six ones, and that would give us three ones. So what do we have? Okay, so we have one thousand six hundred twenty-three is the quotient. Over here, I forgot to add on the extra um, one over there, so it's 1,623. All right, let's move on. 4,862 divided by 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to break up before we divide by 2. We've got 4 thousands. We've got 8 hundredths. We have 6 tens. We have two ones. And it looks like if you look at those numbers, they're div all of those digits are divisible by two. So now let's separate them into two equal groups. And we can get busy now. So let's split up the thousands. So we got one, two, three, four. How many hundreds? We have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many tens? We have six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How many ones? One, two. All right, so how much do we have? We have 2,000, we have four hundredths, we have three tens, and one one. So we have 2,431 is our quotient. Now, I'm gonna go back to that same problem, 4,862 divided by two. Just by looking at this, you could do this mentally because you could say, that two can go into four two times, two can go into eight four times, whoops, and two can go into six three times, two can go into the ones there, the two, one time, 2,431. They're all even numbers, so they're all divisible by the, that two, so it worked. Look how fast that was. 6,759 divided by three. All right, so we're looking at, I see that, that hundreds and that tens, and that's definitely not divisible by three. But let's see if we can uh, work this out. So I'm going to separate these numbers. We've got six in the thousands. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in the hundreds. We have five in the tens, and we have nines in the ones. All right, now we have to split this up into three equal groups. So let's do one group, two, and let's add on a little extra here, and this will be three. 
So now I need to separate 6,000 into three equal groups. And we know that works because it's divisible by two. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then we have to take that seven. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's your six, but we have to give that seven to the tens. So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that becomes 15. And we know that three times five is 15. So let's go. Let's separate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That works. We have nine ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So three goes into nine three times. So if we continue here, now we have how many in the thousands? We have two in the thousands. <clears throat> we have two in the hundreds. We have five in the tens and three in the ones. So it is, the quotient to this is 2,250. 53. Okay, and next one, 5,248 divided by 4. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to separate. We're going to divide up the, separate all the uh, digits in 5,248. So we have 5,000. We have 200. We have uh, 40. Tens, oh, excuse me, 40 tens, four tens, and we have eight ones. All right, now we're going to, since it's asking us here to divide by four, we are going to separate this into four equal groups. So here we have one, we got two, extend this, and then three. Okay, there's our four. All right, let's close this. All right, let's start separating that five, 5,000 into four equal groups, but we know that four can't go into five. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna separate, just take 4,000 out. So we used up these four, and we're gonna take this thousand, we're gonna give it to the tens. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I said the tens, I meant the hundreds. So I gave a 10 to the hundreds, and now it becomes 12 hundreds. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now 4 can go into 12. Now let's take that 4 tens and split it up in 4s. And we can because 4 goes into 40 10 times. So we're going to split up 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. And we have 8 ones. We know that 4 can go into 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so how many thousands do we have? We have 1,000, we have three hundredths, we have 110, and two ones. So 5,248 divided by four is equal to the quotient 1,312. Okay, our next one. This one, we're not using a place value chart, we're using an area model. So I look in the 8,000, and we're dividing it by 2, and we know that 2 can go into 8 because it goes into 4 times. So let's put an 8,000 here. 2 goes into 8,000. That would be 4,000. So now our next one would be 300. Thing is that 2 can't go into 300. What can it go in close to? Well, it can go into 200. So 2 times what gives us 200? That would give us 100. Then we have to subtract 200 from 340, and we get 140 here. Wait, so we'll put that zero ones. So two goes into 14, seven, and zero ones. So we have to now split this up, and we get 4,170. That's our quotient. Okay, what do you call a fake noodle? Gotta solve the next couple of questions to find the answer. Good luck. 
5,692 divided by 4. You're going to use your place value chart and you bring your work in tomorrow. 9,256 divided by 4. This one, you're going to use an area model to divide, and I want to see your area models tomorrow. What do you call a fake noodle? An impasta! Like an imposter? Impasta! <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Great job.